Hello, welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Capricorn Tarot reading. Capricorn love tarot reading, Capricorn love reading. And as is pretty much always the case, here at the Tarot Closet, Capricorn love messages reading channeled, love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. How do they feel about you? How do you feel about them? Who's making what move, if any? What's going on in the connection? What's going on with the person that I'm channeling today? Let's see who's here and what's here. It's the Seven of Swords and it's the King of Pentacles. Very interesting because this is a reversal energy, Aquarius and Uranus energy. So somebody coming back in here, a runner, you could say, coming in here with the King of Pentacles, Virgo ruled by Mercury. They've got you on their mind, relationship with you, committing, commitment, building a relationship. Is there more? Is this just on their mind? Are they coming with it? Well, I'll tell you what, they're, they're coming here with an apology. This Seven of Swords has not been honest, has been hiding feelings. What else have they been hiding? Because it's really the same as lying, isn't it? So is there a truth by omission here not telling you something more? Or is there some lying in general here? Because this is coming in reverse for me, Capricorn. Okay. Let's see what else is coming in. Capricorn, all your playlists are linked below in the description. And of course, you'll also find them on the channel. As well as all 12 zodiac signs. This Okay, so this is already wanting to come off. And this is as well. Okay, is this how this is going? Okay, is that it? <laughs> Here we go. Your reading is off and running. What I wanted to say is you'll also find below all zodiac signs and you'll find the all signs tarot readings. These are love readings for the collective as well as twin flame readings. So if you're on a twin flame journey, they'll really, they're really specific readings for you. So definitely check them out if you want a deep dive into your twin flame journey. Let's take a look at the energy. Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands here. Somebody is definitely feeling impulsive. Yeah, so there's there hasn't been any movement. This is somebody I do feel like has been hiding feelings. There hasn't been any communication. This is also somebody who is, yeah, look at this getting out of their ego, the death and rebirth card, Scorpio energy. Realizing what? They want to share feelings. They want more because we saw that King of Pentacles, the chariot, Cancer energy, Cancer and Moon energy. And I mean, it's in here in reverse. So yeah, things have not been, you haven't been communicating. I don't feel like things have been moving forward. Are the obstacles that are here just somebody's ego? Yes, in the way of communication. This is somebody who has been in their head, who has been in ego and shadow. But it's like kind of like, who's going to write first? You should write me first. No, you, you know, it's like just standing ground energy. But it, I feel that between both of you. It's strong. Five of what, because this is also a validation for me, even in the minor arcana energy, but the five of wands in reverse here in the partnership placement. Saturn and Leo energy. And this is the reversal energy around some of the obstacles and some of the challenges, which it's really clear it's around this per person. This is a snake. They need to shed their skin for renewal. And that is the energy here, of course, in the death card. The renewal, the rebirth energy, what needs to end. Well, their ego for sure just to communicate. So this is around communicating and it is around a pentacle energy. So is this someone you had a commitment with? That, or you were working toward that, or was it on the table? Because this is the person who's coming back in here, the person you haven't been communicating, who I feel like is really wanting to reach out. And again, this is a this is coming in reverse for me, the Knight of Wands energy. 
And it's just a really impulsive energy. And it's coming here with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So somebody who's getting out of their head. Okay, so I didn't even finish saying everything I wanted to say. <laughs> but that's how it's going. I'm just going to move the energy a little more. Remember, this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. Whether you're here in real time or you are here many months or years later from when I upload. It's really just about when you are here. So welcome again. It's a faded connection between you and I. So I'm glad you found your way here. I would really appreciate it, Capricorn, if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, look at this person as chicken <laughs> about how they feel about you. Gosh. Yeah, there are some blocks around this person's heart chakra. But this is somebody who loves you. This is also yours. Yeah, look at that. They love you a lot. This is somebody who regrets leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because they do. They're missing you. They're sorry for ghosting you, okay? Yeah, they're coming out of their ego here just to even say this, I feel like. Still struggling to communicate with you. They're wanting to communicate with you with their, their chicken. Nine of Wands, Upright Energy, Moon, and Sagittarius Energy. Here with the King of Wands in reverse. Even the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here. And the High Priestess, Cancer Energy in reverse. They're revealing of how they feel about you. And the High Priestess Energy in reverse just even around that decision, you know? This is Divine Feminine Energy, of course, and Cancer Energy. I mean, it's connected here with their ego, so coming out of the ego energy is really strong. It's also, again, why you haven't been communicating. I think there's probably a whole lot more going on in terms of the connection, why things haven't been moving forward. Look, the sun energy in reverse. But, yeah, so this is somebody who is really sorry. I'll tell you that. And it's definitely trying to get the strength, literally, to reach out. This is somebody you've not been communicating with, who has been an ego, who has not been communicating for that. Look, even the sun in reverse here. Solar plexus chakra, I do. In reversal energy, this is Leo energy, of course, and source here with the chariot in reverse. I mean, that's a delay in communication. That's a delay in, in sh sharing how they feel about you. It's a delay in an apology. It's a lot of that. But I'll tell you, it's just really clear for me that this is somebody who's struggling with how they left things, who's struggling with how they left things. You are home to this person. This person loves you. Their ego, it's strong, has kept them from communicating. In this page energy, like studying, trying to figure it out, a little bit of fear, page of wands and page of cups, how they feel, two of cups, we can see that. More cancer energy around the cups, the love, of course, the two of cups, Venus and cancer. This is somebody who you love too, and they regret leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. They regret how they left things. They're even regretting, I'm hearing it sounds weird, but the fact that they're struggling so much to communicate because they really want to. Hard on their sleeve energy here, but our page is also still trying to figure it out. And you could say it's kind of like an overpowering energy around the chariot in reverse and the sun in reverse of these major arcanas that it's just delayed. Things are not moving. And it's around their ego here in the sun. Now that doesn't stay in reverse. The sun, it's like temporary energy, but I mean that temporary energy could go on for a long time. And this is wanting to slide off. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah, this is, okay, so is this. Look, it's back in the upright. This is somebody who sees life with you, who sees developing something with you or redeveloping. But they are a big chicken. Why? What's going on in their life? Why are you not talking? 
really restless energy, four of swords in reverse, Jupiter and Libra energy. My throat chakra is going nuts as I talk to you. And that's because this is somebody who really wants even just okay to hear your voice it's somebody who really wants to communicate with you who loves you but is chicken i don't know if it's because there's other things going on why exactly they're not communicating because they want to they're it's all up in their head it's everything that they're thinking about they want to resolve these issues. They want to not feel bad too anymore. This is somebody who's just feeling not good. They want you to not feel bad. They know that they completely broke your heart. They want to reveal how they feel. They want to apologize, but they're just a chicken. Why are they a chicken here? It's emperor and reverse energy too for me. And that's the root chakra energy. And it's when that's out of whack, everything's kind of out of whack. This is somebody who's just... Yeah, there's just a lot of imbalances, you could say, okay? And they're also aware of that. How they feel is sincere. What, How apologetic they are, it's sincere, and they're dying to talk to you. Six of Pentacles here also with the Five of Cups. Moon and Taurus energy, reciprocal energy. They want to be able to give you what you gave them. They want to be able to give you kind of everything here. They want to have a life with you. This is almost like a, yeah, I mean, it is a, can be a proposal energy, but it's like, I want to propose to you. I want to be with you. I want life with you. This is what I want. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to communicate, but I want you to know this, but it's really, I yeah, it's just really strong. Why? Why is there a but? Ego, yeah getting over that to communicate is what they're trying to do here. It's super strong. There might be something else going on here. I feel like you, oh, was that yours? Oh my gosh. I feel like you know that. Okay, so this is, I'm pretty sure, went in reverse. Then it kind of went here, which is an energy of, yeah, I mean, it was coming out in reverse. And this is your energy, Capricorn, Mars, and Capricorn energy. And this is literally this person who hasn't been here it's, it's wanting to go here, who hasn't been communicating, who hasn't been showing up for this, you could say. I don't know if this is just around timing, divine number, somebody's ready, somebody's not, somebody's available, somebody's not, they're a chicken, they're not communicating, but it, it kind of landed here after it came out of reverse, it went here, which is like I'm working on, I'm working on it energy. I'm coming, Two of Wands, Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Moon. What? And the Six of Wands. Oh my gosh. I'm just completely goosebumpy here. Capricorn. Okay. Whoa. I almost can't handle these goosebumps right now. I don't know if you can see this with my hairy <laughs> arms with cat scratches. But yeah. Um, look, it's the Seven of Swords again. It's this runner here connecting with with the chariot in reverse of things so it's runner energy it's been clear and lack of clarity you could also say but it's even this energy of like somebody who hasn't run very far it's giving me also page of swords energy it's like they're looking they're they're not they're not they haven't moved on they haven't really gone but they have run from all of it i mean it's clear here and this is somebody who's still in that run but look what came down this is what they're wanting to do is to communicate i don't know how much longer they can handle it the two of wands what you've been waiting for mars and aries energy for them to literally come here and communicate we could be looking at actual travel energy for some of you you know if that's possible Mars is an energy of completion. It's how we do things, you know, planet of action. There's some conflicting energy. There's a lot of passion, <laughs> of course. This is a decision that you've been waiting for them to make. And that's the completion energy here with the Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords to get out of at least no contact, no communication, to be able to talk. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what they want. And it's looking here like, yeah, this is somebody who, if they haven't already reached out, they, they will maybe find a way because they are getting over their ego. This person loves you, really wants you to know that. They have a lot to say. Here with the moon energy on top of it, 
revealing how they feel and the six of wands, which is them overcoming challenges and obstacles here in the five of wands in reverse. Connected to the five of cups here, the regret and the missing you and just getting all in their head and their feelings. Connecting with getting over their ego in the death card here, what needs to end. So yeah, their ego to communicate. There might be something bigger here that I'm missing in the picture of commitment because that came in, you know, in your energy coming in here with the king of pentacles coming in and, it, and it's back. So yeah, they definitely have life with you on their mind. Are there other challenges and obstacles and things that need to end? Highly possible. Highly possible here. But the energy of the communication, look at this. It's so incredibly clear. Our six of wands is overcoming their ego and coming here to communicate and reveal how they feel. The moon energy connected to the third eye chakra awareness, I see. And that's the subconscious energy. It's, well, yeah, it's the yin energy all around the emotions, this full moon, the cycle, and, and just everything getting revealed, everything that's been hidden, which is clear here. The Knight of Swords, everything that they want to say to you, there in the Two of Cups. Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury energy, what they want to, they, this is like feeling like conquering a mountain for them. And I don't know why they're such a chicken, if it's because things can't move forward or what even went on. But look here, connecting with the Four of Cups in the upright Cancer energy, Moon and Cancer, that is a reaching out energy and communicating. You're definitely like waiting for this but also rolling your eyes a little bit so i don't know what's going on in your energy but there is some apathy here you know it's interesting because it's right in between everything they have to say and what you've been waiting for in the two of wands for them to reveal it look at this you're getting it here today but this is a strong validation especially with this actually having come here that they are maybe in the knight of wands in reverse the impulsive energy may be reaching out, out of nowhere. It's strong. This is somebody who is still seeing this connection with you, the possibilities here, the new beginnings, the possibilities to develop something. Maybe it's redevelop here in our King of Pentacles energy. It's strong. It's really strong, actually. Here, gosh. Okay, <laughs> I feel like I'm being, I don't know, like I need to move on now to Oracle. That's what it's feeling like. Like they've said everything that they needed to say here. Okay, I just want to show you at the bottom of the deck, it's more of the moon energy, dog loyalty. There's, I'll tell you, there's just something here. I mean, that's also clear in the Two of Cups. Soulmate energy is real strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, it is here. It's strongly here. This is somebody who still has this connection to you, who still feels all of the things that you know they feel, but have been holding back for, well, communication around ego, but what are the other things here? What, why? What happened? You know, it's still what's on their mind. That's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, so we saw it came, it went. It's always shuffled, but I want to move the energy a little more. What else do we need to see? What does Capricorn need to see or hear? Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards, Aho. I'm not reading this in reverse, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I just keep spinning this around. That's interesting. I was like, keep going around. Like, what is going on here? The leaf of change. Wanting to change. Fear of change. Wanting things to change. Wanting you to know their feelings also haven't changed. That's another thing. Maybe trying to change things by communicating. It's... Definitely, I'm a big chicken energy, but I tell you, it's like they're just not going to be able to take it anymore. 
I can't take not talking to you. Look, here is the death of their ego again. The transformation, butterfly energy connecting directly with our death card here and the ego. Timing, divine timing, communication. Divine number, somebody ready, somebody not, somebody available, somebody not. Ego, dark to light energy, so revealing of a lot of things here. Future, possi future possibilities, feelings, apologies, just all kinds of stuff going on here. And just also getting out of this energy too is also telling me that it's somebody who's trying to get out of the sad energy of missing you. Five of Cups energy, it's strong. This is somebody who's put it out there like they're not around, they're gone, but they're not. If you think this person is over you, uh, uh, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> they aren't. Inner growth, lobster, interesting. So some things that have changed around this person and more connection to the moon energy. So much connection here. Look, here's the thing, you know, this, the crustacean, you could say, on the moon. And you get that out of the way here. And those feelings that haven't changed that are there, they just start to flow and get revealed. That's what it is. And this is what they're literally getting out of their ego to admit to themselves and wanting to send to you big old chicken because of ego. And is there something else in their life too? You are my, you are my home, Capricorn. I feel at home with you. You're, you're my person. House familiarity. So this is a lot of things for me. It's it's conscious, subconscious, yin and yang. It's, for some of you, possibly connections to a house, you know, locations, childhood. It's like six of cups energy. So it could be literal that you've known this person forever. But it's also a soul connection of just feeling like myself when I'm with you. I feel like myself when I'm with you. I am at home with you. It's a feeling here it's a feeling and that's also what is connected to that six of cups energy that i'm feeling with it too which is the soul connection wow wow okay yeah look and i i do see my future with you i i can't imagine it without you look at this spirit kites angels and ancestors the divine will bring us back together i hope the universe will bring us back together Angels, wings here, compassion, the star, guidance, fate, and destiny. I know we are a fated connection. You are my destiny, Capricorn. You are my destiny. Our destinies are intertwined. Again, it's this energy of either knowing you forever or just feeling that way. That's the soul connection. So for those of you on a twin flame journey, of course, your twin flame can be a soulmate. And I know not everybody's on a twin flame journey. This is somebody who's seeing you as... A soulmate fate and destiny hope for these wishes you could say to come true and the wishes that they're making too there's a strong nocturnal energy here and look at this with the angel wings and the globe bringing in the world card leo scorpio taurus and aquarius energy this person does have long-term energy whether that's marriage moving in for some of you there's a really long distance energy we were even talking other countries here it's not for everybody, but it's definitely here, I'll tell you that. But the future energy has been coming through really strong. Like, I'm not complete without you. I'm still thinking about this. Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. This is how I feel. I'm getting closer to making some life-changing decisions. To begin with, getting out of my ego. This is them here. To tell you these things that you that I want to tell you, to communicate with you. It's future energy here. Yeah. Soulmate energy is really, really strong. They're wanting to overcome these obstacles. Look at this. Wow. Okay, I want to bring in some channeled. This is just hanging off the deck. I will always love you. Look. Some channeled love messages. I was reaching for another deck, but this one I um, really wanted to come in. So here we go. Love messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. This is <laughs> just not surprising. Look, 
It's the bottom of the deck. I cannot stand not talking to you. This has been so strong, Capricorn. Cannot stand talk not talking to you. It's driving this person crazy. Come to me in my dreams. I'll kiss you there. Right here. Look at this. With the moon energy. I want to tell you the truth. Yeah. It's the Queen of Swords. I am so sorry I lied to you. How they feel. The Two of Cups. What they want. What they can or can't do. I haven't let you go. There's all kinds of truth here. I wish we were together right now. It's here. Because you're not. Okay. This is coming off. So is this. Okay. Wow. That's like really clear. Uh, this person knows what they want to say. I'm sorry I ghosted you. You touched my soul so deeply. I will never have a connection like this with anyone else, Capricorn. That should say have. It says had there. I know. It's my, I spelled it wrong. Please take me back. So that's a particular kind of energy. For some of you, you may have already moved on or pulled away. You know, it's just even feeling the energy of you. I'm thinking of you right at this moment. This is strong and I'm not surprised in what I can change. My feelings haven't changed. It keeps coming through. No, I am not over you. I'm not asking for a lot. All I want is for you to look into my eyes and say that everything will be okay. I'm ready to take all the blame. Here with the Seven of Swords. I'm wising up, yes. It's bringing in some hangman energy. Somebody's been hanging around, getting a different perspective, for sure. Hanging out in their man, woman cave. Also connecting with Archangel Gabriel in judgment. Crown chakra, I know. Archangel Gabriel in the sacral chakra, I feel. Also in the third eye chakra, I see the awareness. Sometimes I cry myself to sleep. No. So much regret. It's the Five of Cups. It's also the lovers in reverse energy coming in. One just fell and touched my heart. Literally, you are the sunshine of my life. Yeah, the regret is palpable here. I'm really feeling this. Capricorn, this is somebody who is just really missing you. I never should have let you go, Capricorn. Can you forgive me? Connecting here with sorry, I goes to you. Inner growth. Look, I will always love you. A lot of that knowing energy. I thought that I knew how to love until I met you. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. Hello. The tarot closet love messages. This is where we're going to go now. The camera just died, as you saw, and I turned it on. I'm hoping that it picked everything up here. You are the sunshine of my life. Can you forgive me? We are tethered forever. I thought that I knew how to love until I met you, Capricorn. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. I have so much regret, and I, I never should have let you go. Can you forgive me? Just in case it got missed. Whoa. You deserve so much more. It's this energy of, I don't deserve you, but I want you. I am so lost without you. And what I wanted to say when I looked up at the camera not recording is that we were going to end here on these love messages. I'm sending you telepathic messages. So a lot of what's coming through here today. I want to kiss you. We saw I want to hold you, didn't we? There's some longing, physical longing energy here. Please forgive me is here again. I am afraid you will reject me. Are you still here? This is wanting to show, oh my gosh, look, it's the Three of Swords in reverse. That's the apology here. It's right here with the Nine, excuse me, with the Seven of Swords. 
the apology. Yeah, they were an ego, higher self in reverse. They were an ego when whatever they said or did went down. They're sorry. It's just been really super clear that they're getting out of that. Wanting desperately to talk to you here. Take, look, taking the blame right here. I'm ready to take all the blame on the Seven of Swords. I was an ego and shadow. That's just been really clear. And I'm sorry. Three of Swords in reverse. Saturn and Libra energy. I dream of you. This is also been clear and it's clear again. Come to me in my dreams. I'll kiss you there. Strong validation. My world changed when I met you. And that's in that world card energy as well. You are my biggest wish. And that's in the star card that came in with our oracle. You are my biggest wish, Capricorn. Your last channeled love message. Message from their higher self. I miss you. This is so strong. It's been so strong in your entire reading. And I'm feeling what this person is I'm feeling this energy. It's palpable. What this person is feeling is here. I miss you, Capricorn. You are my biggest wish. Beautiful Capricorn, thank you for joining me today. It's been my total honor. I appreciate it. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you for that. I'm sending you love and light as always and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Capricorn.